This is a sample student educational plan for a student who wants to transfer to a Cal State school, uh, whether that be East Bay, San Francisco State, um, San Jose State, Chico, uh, Humboldt, Sonoma State, and so on, but is undecided and undeclared at this time as to what major um, he or she wants to pursue. So this is just an example of one possible way of doing it. It's tentative, it's not complete, because it really is important to look at what are the major requirements. But for now, I'm just gonna look at the CSU General Ed requirements for this particular um, educational plan. So one thing to always keep in mind is that depending upon your math assessment, the very first one is Math 107, before you can get into Math 65 and then Math 55, because this is pre-algebra, Algebra 1, Algebra 2, and then the college level math that is transferable, whether it's uh, finite math, calculus for business majors, intro to stats, statistics and probability, or college algebra. And so most students take either intro to stats for three units or college algebra, but it really depends on your major because your major might require a specific or more than one um, math course. But for this example, I'm just gonna choose just any one uh, transferable math class. Then for the English um, pattern, you have English 100A with the 100X lab, then 104 with the lab 100Z, and then uh, the student would take English 1A. Okay, so in this example, uh, I'm just using this one particular student, let's say for fall 2012, the student assessed into Math 55 and English 104 and 100Z. So they're going to be registered for nine units of which the nine units are not transferable to the CSU, but they're also going to take one social science GE course. Again, it, you can find that on the GE flyer. Health one or three to fulfill their area um, E, self-development. So the student will actually be registered for nine plus 15 units, but only six units will be CSU transferable. Then the following spring semester, they're going to finish um, their math transferable math required course. So I'm just listing all of them that's you know possible and it could vary from three to five units. Um, after completing English 4, 104, I'm sorry, after completing English 104, then they would register for English 1A, that's required. Uh, humanities general education course, again from that flyer list. And I'm just using this as an example, a bioscience lecture with no lab that's required. So the student will be at the minimum registered for 12 units. Now you might have noticed these little carrots that I've placed on here for the general ed uh, courses. And so what that just means is that um, these courses are interchangeable, these general education courses. So they could be taken at any semester. So depending upon availability, you know, you could decide to flip them, move them around. Okay, the next Let's say over the summer, you're going to complete Speech 1 because that's a required course for um, CSU. The following fall semester, fall 2013, um, one lab course is required. So I, in this example, I'm just saying the student decides to take a physical science lecture with the lab for a total of four units, actually, because it's three plus one. Um, because there's that one lab over here, they only you know take one lecture class for bioscience. Now you can flip this. So for example, you could decide, no, I want to take a bioscience lecture with the lab for a total of four units. And then in that case, you can just take the physical science lecture here because then the lab is not required. You just need to take just one lab class. Okay, then you're going to continue and finish up your English, English four or, or seven. Um, I would recommend taking history seven and, or eight because that would also fulfill your American institutions requirement then you would also take an arts general education course. So you, when you add all that up, that's going to add up to 13 units. Then the following spring semester, um, this would finish up your American institutions requirement, which one you did not complete, or you could take, you know, poli sci seven, which is an American government class. Uh, your last remaining arts or humanities GE course, because you already have arts here, humanities here, and then this will be your third arts or humanities course then that would pretty much fulfill all of your general education courses. Um, and then, so here, it's now going into, okay, what major would you want to pursue, um, or even elective classes, fun classes that are CSU transferable. 
so that um, you can have a minimum of 60 units. So here you notice that I put on here fall 2014 because you would still need a minimum of, I believe, either 13 or 14 more units. I need to do this math. So that's 18 plus 3 is 21. 21 plus uh, 25 would make it 46. So yes, you still need, you know, 14 more semester, 14 more CSU transferable units. And if, depending upon your major, if you decide to go for business, for example, they might have some specific, you know, major uh, prep classes that you might need to uh, complete prior to transfer. So, you know, in looking at this example, you know, it's going to take at least um, two and a half years before prior to transfer and that's because you know depending upon where you assess did you assess straight into uh, transferable level English and math or did you need some you know preparatory courses ahead of time and that's perfectly fine because the CSUs um, will not penalize you or dock points because it took you you know two and a half or three years to transfer because they know that for community college students a lot of them tend to work and go to school at the same time so even though ideally they talk about a two-year you know, work at a community college prior to transfer, majority of the students take at least two and a half um, or three years prior to transfer.